live on both. And hello everybody and welcome to another week of Cook the States here in uh, Jordan where we are doing this um, challenge to cook a meal from every state in the U.S. Um, every week, take, choosing some, choosing a couple of recipes, you guys vote, and we make some recipes. So today is Iowa, week 26. Six. I can't remember <laughs> anymore. So week 26, and we're doing Iowa, and today the recipe that won was the loose meat sandwich. Okay, I know it sounds like, I don't think loose meat sandwich sounds great. No, they could come up with a better I think there is a better name, there is actually. A better name. It's called the Tavern Sandwich. The t oh. So, what I learned about this was that the, um, I guess the uh, inspiration came from steamed burgers. And so, the person who first made this decided to sort of, I'm going to put a little bit of oil in here, uh, decided to do sort of a take on the steamed burger. And I'm just putting a little bit of meat in there. We're just making the one sandwich today. And um, so it was inspired by that and went ahead and made something called the loose meat sandwich. Which is like a burger. It's sort of like a, a uh, well, it's, it's the precursor to the sloppy joe. Because apparently somebody in Iowa was making a loose meat sandwich and decided to put some tomato sauce in there. And boom, the Sloppy Joe was born. So. I was just about to ask what the hell a Sloppy Joe is. I've heard of it, obviously, but... Sloppy Joe is like uh, beef that is um, cooked like this. Mm -hmm. And then um, you have tomato sauce in it. Mm -hmm. And it goes on a burger. And you eat it on a, or a burger bun. And you eat it on a burger bun. And it is delicious. I remember having Sloppy Joe burgers when I was in the States as a child at school. And they were delicious. So that's the history of the loose meat burger. But anyway, um, the uh, ownership of the, the tavern where this guy had invented this uh, was changed, and the new owner brought a new name, which was the tavern tavern burger, which I think sounds better. Loose meat sounds pretty. <laughs> now, talking to my nephew who lives in Nebraska. He doesn't believe. I was telling him it's like a run zone, a bun, but I think he was um, not buying that. So, but everybody has their own little twist. So what you do? And I'm going to add a little bit of pepper. And a little bit of salt. Make our loose meat taste really good. Now I'm just going to make sure that my loose meat is cooked. <laughs> and I think it is cooked to death. Yep, I think that's cooked to death. <laughs> so, do that. Um, All our ingredients over here. All our ingredients over there. I'm going to just pour this into a bowl. So that ah! The, the food hussy. Who we met at yeah. the, I forgot the name now, the International Food Bloggers Conference. She says, that's the food of my people. Lovely. <laughs> Wonderful. How are you? Uh, it's so nice to hear from you. We try to keep tabs of your delicious foods that you're eating. <laughs> Definitely try and keep tabs. So I'm hoping I'm making food of your people in the right way. It's probably going to be slightly different. but um, So what I'm going to do is put some mayonnaise. And this is another um, relatively straightforward uh, recipe. Like last week, I think we had a straightforward sandwich. Um, and it was not a fried version. Of course, this time it was, uh, I guess it could have been fried. It was a, um, it was, uh, I'm trying to think. Of it. Well, it, was <laughs> a, it was a pork cutlet or something like mm -hmm. that. Fried pork cutlet was the other option for Iowa. So and she says, I'm from Iowa. Miss you guys. Oh. <laughs> we miss you too. <laughs> Are you in Iowa now? Hopefully we'll see you at the next uh, food yeah. blogger conference when it that would be cool. finally gets rescheduled. El Paso 2021? Yes, you guys have to check out the food hussy who did a perfectly wonderful comedy show for us. Oh, 
at the, the conference, and she was quite hysterical and very talented. So we were happy to have been there for that. Uh, Topper's Pork Tenderloin is the other Iowa food staple. Ah, oh, that was... So, yes, it was Tenderloin, that's right. She says, I'm in Ohio now. Ah, Ohio. Well, what's the food there in Ohio? Did we have we, 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 we done to... Ohio yet? I don't think it would be helpful for us. And some mustard. Got a bit of mustard. Am I the one who has to taste this? That's so much mustard. <laughs> <laughs> and then I have the pickles. Apparently the pickles are a very integral part of this. Mm. Cincinnati chili. Oh yeah, oh, we yeah, did we do did. it. We yeah. did do Cincinnati chili. That's, That's right. exactly what we did. So many states. I'm starting to forget where we. Halfway th over halfway through now for chili. Yeah. All right. Never thought we'd get here. Here we go. Okay, let's have a look. Let's get a side view of the sandwich. Here we are. The beauty shot. The beauty. Uh, I'm trying my best to do the beauty shot. <laughs> I'm uh, just a terrible it camera be, woman. It your fault. It would be the construction of the sandwich. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so. Um, let me cut this. Oh my goodness. Um, uh, she also said go goetta? Never heard of that. What's no. goetta? Oh, if I'm saying it right. For Ohio? No, uh, ooh, I don't know. I think so, maybe. Oh my goodness. It does smell very good. It's kind of like a hamburger, essentially, but yeah, it's kind the meat of, is loose. See, this, is, this is what a sloppy joe is without the... Um, tomato sauce. Ah. So that is finally what you're getting to see, the closest you've seen to a sloppy joe. Ah, goetta like getta. Ah. Yeah, I was butchering that. That's all right. <laughs> okay. Now Oof. we switch over, so since I'm on this non-gluten... I've been eating my noodles. I've got eating your noodles. She's got stains noodle. on her shirt. <laughs> Can't take her anywhere. Okay. Because we just want to prove that this is entirely that's edible. Really good. Mm. Yeah, that's I can really, imagine it. Well, I wasn't expecting it, but it's really good. <laughs> awesome. Mm. All right. Yeah, the actual person back. Yes, what the actual person? You're an actual person. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, sweetie. <laughs> um, there you have it. That's it. That is the loose meat sandwich oh. uh, that we prepared for you today. Instead, it's a pork and oat sausage. Oh, mm. good. That does sound good. Actually. Um, so that's the sandwich this week, um, Cook the States, and this week was Iowa, and it was week 26. Next week is, we know, we don't know, but we can't remember, or it's on our list. I can't so remember, we will, sorry. We will, as we always do, we'll put out those two recipes next Saturday, and then you guys get to vote on which one um, we make. Thank you so much for tuning in, thank you so much for being here, I hope you enjoyed it, and we look forward to seeing you next week.